Deep within each of us lies a reservoir of untapped potential. It's a spark waiting to be ignited. We all have dreams. We all have aspirations. But often, we let fear, doubt and insecurity hold us back. We convince ourselves that we're not good enough, smart enough or brave enough to pursue our goals. This inner critic can be a powerful force, keeping us trapped in our comfort zones. But what if we could silence that voice? What if we could tap into our inner strength and unleash the potential that resides within? This is the journey of self-discovery, of embracing our authentic selves and daring to live a life true to our values. It's about believing in ourselves, even when it's hard. It's about having the courage to step outside our comfort zones and pursue our dreams, even in the face of fear. It's about embracing our vulnerability and allowing ourselves to be seen fully and authentically. This is the path to a more fulfilling life, a life filled with purpose, joy and meaning. It's a journey of self-discovery, of pushing past our perceived limitations and stepping into our power. It's about unleashing the potential that has always been within us, waiting to be ignited. Belief is the foundation upon which we build our lives. It's the unwavering conviction in our own abilities, even when faced with challenges. When we believe in ourselves, we open ourselves up to a world of possibilities. We're more likely to take risks, to persevere through setbacks, and to ultimately achieve our goals. Think of a time when you achieved something you once thought impossible. What role did belief play in your success? Often it's not our circumstances that hold us back, but our own limiting beliefs. We tell ourselves we're not capable, not worthy, or not deserving of success. These beliefs become self-fulfilling prophecies, shaping our actions and ultimately our outcomes. But when we challenge these limiting beliefs and replace them with empowering ones, we begin to unlock our true potential. We start to see possibilities where we once saw obstacles. Believing in yourself is not about arrogance or ego. It's about recognizing your inherent worth and your capacity for growth. It's about trusting in your abilities and having the confidence to pursue your passions. It's about planting the seed of possibility in your mind and nurturing it with self-compassion and determination. Courage is not the absence of fear. It's feeling the fear and doing it anyway. It's the willingness to step outside our comfort zones, to embrace the unknown, and to take risks in pursuit of our dreams. Courage is the driving force that propels us forward, even when faced with uncertainty and doubt. When we allow fear to dictate our actions, we limit our potential. We stay stuck in our comfort zones, afraid to take the risks that could lead to growth and fulfillment. But when we summon the courage to face our fears, we open ourselves up to a world of opportunity. Think of courage as a muscle that grows stronger with each challenge we overcome. Every time we step outside our comfort zones, we build our courage reserves. We develop resilience and the ability to navigate uncertainty with greater ease. Courage is not about being fearless. It's about recognizing that fear is a natural part of life, but it doesn't have to control us. It's about acknowledging our fears, but choosing to act in spite of them. It's about embracing the discomfort of growth and trusting that we have the strength to overcome any obstacle that comes our way. Authenticity is about showing up in the world as our true selves, without pretense or apology. It's about embracing our quirks, celebrating our strengths, and acknowledging our imperfections. When we're authentic, we give ourselves permission to be fully human, to embrace the fullness of who we are. For many of us, authenticity can feel like a scary concept. We're taught from a young age to conform, to fit in, and to please others. We learn to hide our true selves behind masks of perfection and acceptability. But this constant striving for approval can be exhausting. It disconnects us from our true selves and prevents us from forming genuine connections with others. When we embrace our authenticity, we free ourselves from the need for external validation. We learn to define our own worth based on our values and our own internal compass. This doesn't mean we become insensitive to the feelings of others. It simply means we prioritize being true to ourselves while still treating others with respect and compassion. It's about finding the courage to show up in the world as our most genuine selves, even when it feels uncomfortable or inconvenient. Section 5. Vulnerability. The courage to connect. Vulnerability is often seen as a weakness, something to be avoided at all costs. We build walls around our hearts, afraid to let others see our true selves. We fear judgment, rejection, and the pain of being hurt. But in reality, vulnerability is the birthplace of connection, innovation, and joy. When we allow ourselves to be vulnerable, we create space for authentic connection. 
We let others see our humanity, our imperfections, and the things that make us unique. This shared vulnerability fosters trust, empathy, and a sense of belonging. Think about a time when someone shared something vulnerable with you. How did it make you feel? Chances are, it made you feel closer to that person. It made you realize that you're not alone in your struggles and that it's okay to not be okay all the time. Vulnerability is not about oversharing or seeking pity. It's about showing up authentically in our relationships, even when it feels risky. It's about having the courage to express our needs, to ask for help, and to let others support us. Section 6. The Interplay. How belief, courage, authenticity, and vulnerability work together. Belief, courage, authenticity, and vulnerability are not isolated concepts. They are intricately interwoven, each one influencing and strengthening the others. When we believe in ourselves, we are more likely to have the courage to be authentic. When we're authentic, we open ourselves up to vulnerability. And when we embrace vulnerability, we deepen our connections with ourselves and others, which in turn strengthens our belief in our own worth. Imagine a circle with belief, courage, authenticity and vulnerability forming the four points. When one of these elements is strengthened, it creates a ripple effect, positively impacting the others. Conversely, when one element is weakened, it can create a downward spiral. For example, if we're struggling with self-doubt, a lack of belief, it can be challenging to show up authentically in our lives. This lack of authenticity can lead to a fear of vulnerability, which can further erode our self-belief. However, if we can find the courage to challenge our self-doubt and embrace our true selves, we open ourselves up to the transformative power of vulnerability and connection. This, in turn, reinforces our belief in our own worth and our ability to create a fulfilling life. Section 7. Overcoming Fear. The Courage to be Imperfect. Fear is a natural human emotion, hardwired into our DNA. It's our brain's way of protecting us from perceived threats. But in modern society, many of our fears are no longer based on real, physical danger. Instead, they stem from our own insecurities, self-doubt, and the fear of judgment from others. We fear failure, rejection, and not being good enough. These fears can paralyze us, preventing us from pursuing our dreams and living our lives to the fullest. But here's the thing about fear. It thrives in the shadows of silence. When we shine a light on our fears, when we acknowledge them and talk about them, they begin to lose their power over us. We realize that we're not alone in our fears, that everyone experiences them to some degree. One of the most powerful ways to overcome fear is to practice self-compassion. We need to treat ourselves with the same kindness and understanding that we would offer a close friend. Instead of beating ourselves up for our mistakes, we can choose to view them as opportunities for learning and growth. Section 8. The Power of Authenticity Living in alignment with your values Authenticity is not about being perfect or having it all figured out. It's about living in alignment with our values, even when it's hard. It's about making choices that reflect who we truly are, rather than who we think we should be. When we live authentically, we feel a sense of congruence between our inner world and our outer actions. We're no longer trying to fit in or please others at the expense of our own well-being. One way to cultivate authenticity is to identify our core values. What matters most to us? What do we stand for? Once we've defined our values, we can start making choices that are consistent with them. This might mean saying no to opportunities that don't align with our values, even if they seem appealing on the surface. It might mean having difficult conversations with loved ones or setting boundaries to protect our time and energy. Living authentically is not always easy. It takes courage to be true to ourselves, especially when it means going against the grain or challenging societal expectations. But the rewards of authenticity are immeasurable. Section 9. Vulnerability, building meaningful connections. Vulnerability is the cornerstone of meaningful connections. It's the bridge that allows us to connect with others on a deeper level, to build trust and to experience true intimacy. When we allow ourselves to be vulnerable, we give others permission to do the same. We create a safe space for authenticity and emotional connection. It's important to remember that vulnerability is not a sign of weakness. In fact, it takes incredible strength and courage to be vulnerable. It means allowing ourselves to be seen fully and authentically without knowing how others will react. It means risking rejection, judgment, 
and emotional pain, but the rewards of vulnerability far outweigh the risks. When we open ourselves up to vulnerability, we open ourselves up to love, belonging, and true connection. We break down the walls that separate us from others and allow ourselves to experience the world in all its messy, imperfect beauty. One way to cultivate vulnerability in our relationships is to practice active listening. This means truly hearing and trying to understand the other person's perspective without judgment or interruption. Section 10, The Transformative Journey from Self-Doubt to Self-Empowerment. The journey from self-doubt to self-empowerment is a process of self-discovery, growth, and transformation. It's about challenging our limiting beliefs, embracing our authentic selves, and stepping into our power. It's a journey that requires courage, vulnerability, and a willingness to embrace discomfort. It's about recognizing that we are worthy of love, belonging, and success, just as we are. It's about silencing the inner critic that tells us we're not good enough and replacing it with a voice of self-compassion and encouragement. This journey is not always easy. There will be setbacks, challenges, and moments of self-doubt. But it's in these moments that we have the opportunity to practice self-compassion, to learn from our mistakes, and to emerge stronger and more resilient than before. The transformative journey from self-doubt to self-empowerment is an ongoing process. It's not a destination we arrive at, but a path we choose to walk every single day. It's about making a conscious choice to show up for ourselves, to honor our values, and to live a life that is true to our authentic selves. Section 11. Conclusion. Unleash your potential and live a life of purpose. We all have the power to shape our lives and create a future filled with purpose, joy, and meaning. It starts with believing in ourselves, even when it's hard. It's about having the courage to step outside our comfort zones, to embrace our vulnerability, and to show up in the world as our authentic selves. It's about recognizing that our imperfections are what make us unique and that our vulnerability is our greatest strength. When we embrace these parts of ourselves, we unlock our true potential and create a life that is both fulfilling and meaningful. So I encourage you to embrace your belief, cultivate your courage, step into your authenticity, and allow yourself to be vulnerable. Embrace the journey of self-discovery and never stop exploring the depths of your own potential. The world is waiting for you to shine your light.